This video is brought to you by healthhype.com. Always consult with your doctor. The information in this video cannot replace a medical consultation. Do not undertake any change in your current treatment without first speaking to your doctor. It is not a topic that most people want to discuss but your feces can say a lot more about your health than you think. Most of us do not look at our stool after a bowel movement. However, you could be missing important signs of various diseases and disorders. It is important to take note of three characteristics about your stool. This can help you spot some diseases in the early stages. These three characteristics are the color, consistency, and frequency of your stool. It is important to understand the transit from the mouth to the rectum. Food that enters your mouth is passed down your throat and esophagus when you swallow. It then goes through your stomach where it is partially digested. Small amounts of this partially digested food is released into the small intestine. Gestion is completed here and what is left is then passed into the large intestine. Stool is formed in the colon of the large intestine where it is stored until it is ready to be passed out during a bowel movement. Movement through the small intestine is a long process since this part of the gut is almost 20 feet long. The watery residue that remains enters the ascending colon where fluid is reabsorbed. The stool transitions into a mush within the transverse colon and then into a solid mass in the descending colon. It moves through the sigmoid colon and is pushed out of the rectum during a bowel movement. The composition of normal feces is 75% water. The other 25% is a mixture of fiber, bacteria, fat, inorganic matter, and protein. The normal color of stool is a tan to dark brown color. When the stool is lighter than normal or even a pale gray to white in color then this can be a sign of liver disease. On the opposite end, stool can appear dark than normal and even black in color. This can be a sign of bleeding in the gut and the dark tarry stool is known as melina. Equally important is the consistency of the stool. The Bristol stool chart describes seven types of stool based on consistency. Type 1 and 2 is lumpy stool. This is commonly seen in constipation. Type 3 and 4 is sausage shaped and soft. This is normal stool. Types 5, 6 and 7 is looser in consistency and even watery. This is seen in diarrhea. The other important clue about your health is how often you pass stool. Individual bowel habit can vary from person to person. Some people may pass stool up to three times a day. At the other end, some people pass stool only three times within a week. This is considered normal. If you pass stool more than three times a day then this is usually an indication of diarrhea. Similarly if you pass stool less than three times a week then it is a sign of constipation. Diarrhea and constipation are two common symptoms. It can occur with diet, lifestyle, medication, various disorders and a host of diseases. Some of these conditions can be serious and even life-threatening. Never ignore diarrhea or constipation, especially if it is persistent with other symptoms like blood in the stool and unintentional weight loss. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by healthhype.com. Speak to your doctor immediately if your symptoms persist or worsen.